Do Salt Lake's opportunities. As Schwab passes streaking through for number three. Fantastic save by Michael Sperling. If that had gone in, it would have been very difficult to come back from. But Michael Sperling standing defiant. Yeah, it looked like Sperling. I kind of misread the, the pace of the ball going over the top. He probably, in retrospect, would have thought he could have come out and collected it at the top of the box. But when you're not sure. Johnson's offside here. Free kick for Real Salt Lake. Set Platter free for the final ball into the box. Joao Platter has been a live wire since coming on early. Sandoval has used his bulk on his first start. Platter picking up. Warming the palms of Michael Sperling. Avoid joining in late. Sandoval for Plata. Another stop by Michael Sperning. RSL carving their way delightfully through the back line. And Michael Sperning's got his hands up. Looks like he took that shot in the face a little bit, but he stood up strong, made the save. Plata a little bit guilty. He had spaces and put it right off of Michael Sperning's face. Who would want to be a goalkeeper? <laughs> well, he's made some very good stops tonight. RSL have two goals. If Seattle are to get their way back into this game, they will have Michael Sperning to thank. Seven saves tonight. I think he wants some TLC more than anything. Sometimes you just, need little, maybe. you just need a little time to clear the cobwebs. This could turn out to be an absolutely vital save. Yeah, Plata not quite sure what he's going to do with the ball, so he decides just to put his laces through it. And Michael Sperning's face gets in the way. Rail Salt Lake with some very good one-touch interplay here. How as a defense can you cope? with the type of football that Real Salt Lake are playing at well, the moment. Yeah. Now it's just a matter is can he kind of really react to the pace of the game? Can he be take that one touch less and just get himself because he's had two or three great opportunities to score. Plata jinking, twisting, turning and crossing. Yeah. He's arrived from Toronto in a play. He's Plata. Well, Plata. Plata does all the hard work and then puts his cross right in Michael Sperning's arms. More than 20 minutes still to play at Rio Tinto Stadium. Free. <laughs> it's been a thoroughly watchable game, but if you're a Seattle fan, you won't want to see this scoreline. Desperately searching for the equaliser. The man of the match for me is Michael Sperning. Come up with eight saves to keep the Sounders in the match where they really should not have been. And even on the first goal from Robbie Finley, he comes up with the save. It really was a case of RSL not taking advantage of the so many chances that they did create. Michael Sperning got big. He made it difficult for him. Even taking one off the face. But in the end, it was a losing effort. But they have to thank Michael Sperning for this not being a blowout for RSL. Yeah, it could have been more. But it is a defeat for the Sounders. The first time they've lost three of their first games in Major League Soccer to start a season. They were Way, the official training restaurant of the Sounders FC and immediately a chance down the left hand side for Jacob Peterson into the area and Michael Sperling within the opening 20 seconds is called upon a very fast start from the home side. Well some talk about Jacob Peterson and how he is trying to get himself back into full fitness and you can see there he's a committed player, good tackle against a very hard tackling Zach. Should be done comfortably dealt with by Michael. If the unlikely event happens that Michael Sperning needs to come off. Here's Gardner well forward. It was behind Chance Myers. Now Zusi can hit them from there. 
Safely taken by... Six in the box. Easy play for Michael Spurning. Stayed up. Chance Myers now. Chance to shoot. Straight again where Michael Sperling wants it. Yeah, Myers coming off a couple goals the other day. But on that occasion, he really didn't catch it too well. And Sperling finds himself in a perfect position just to comfortably catch the ball and now knock the ball up the park and to relieve the pressure late in the first half. Third shot on target for sports. Jacob Peterson. Susie's seen him. Potato got his head to it. Spurning with a solid enough punch. Good position in that right-hand side channel, and unfortunate for him, the cross was deflected into Jimmy Nielsen's arms. This is Oreo Rosell, brought up in the La Masia, at the far post, whipped in near post, and it's not a good delivery. Aureli and Colin trying to come round the back, unsighted to the Seattle defence. Fair to say neither side has really found their way with set pieces tonight, Casey. But they always seem to get results in certain places, and is this that place for Seattle? Yeah, excellent job from Hurtado, just covering back behind Zach Scott, and a nice, comfortable back pass. Taking on Leo Gonzalez. Well, CJ Sapong was creeping into the near post. Mentioned about Kamara trying to... Alvarez with the corner. Seattle do just enough to get it away. Mario De Luna. Another chance to put the ball in the box. From Villafania. Alvarez keeps it alive. This is sustained pressure. De Luna, and that should be Michael Sperling's ball. Let Chivas have the ball. Here's Correa on the end of a Minda pass, though. This is very dangerous, and if it was a smarter shot, Chivas may well have taken the lead, and I think Michael Sperling will be grateful that Correa didn't really get hold of it. And you see quickly, good ball in behind Jimmy Triori. Zach Scott looking to come over and help out. Easy stave in the end for Michael Sperling, but those, those times, it's great to see that happening. And you see right there, when the Sounders score first, they tend to have success 4-0-2 in their last six matches when they score that first goal. Will it be a glut of goals this evening? Either way, in the last three. Alvarez's corner. There is Burling. In the end, it was a header from Joaquin Velazquez. Well, let's go back to that goal because it was quite something from Seattle. The movement of the Sounders just slicing open Chivas. Here's Mario Martinez. His echoes of last year. Anti Jazik stuck a header inside his own goal. Be a lighter month for Sounders. If the Sounders are going to miss Ozzy Alonso for a little bit of time, June might be the month for it. Again, five in the area. Deluna wide open here. And he had to put it back across goal because. He was never going to get enough power on it to beat Michael Sperling. And I'm not sure who's marking Mario De Luna here, but he gets wide open at the back post. He almost had time to take it down. The one thing we know, Ross, about these Sounders sides is that they're very resilient. Ziggy has them motivated. He has a locker room full, a ton of character, and the way that the Sounders have responded after... It's a great honor, Ross when you're able to represent your country, but Sounders fans won't be too disappointed not to see Mario Martinez on that preliminary Gold Cup roster for him. Tristan Bowen now. He kept it in play. But Michael Sperling was on the mark. Here we see Tristan Pe Bowen using his pace to get behind Leo Gonzalez, but good positioning by Michael Sperling. 
puts the ball back into play. This is Mark Birch on as a steadying presence for Seattle. On Gabriel Farfan, how he hasn't earned a yellow. Birch out. Can he keep it in? He can't. It'll be a goal kick for Michael Schperning. So looking ahead, Taylor, Vancouver Whitecaps next on Saturday. What kind of confidence can Seattle take into that game as we see again this, this cross that never was? Well, Carlos Alvarez trying to do a quick give and go around Mark Birch. Too heavy of a pass, puts more of that headline. But next weekend against Vancouver, it's going to be the, it's the reincarnation of the Cascadia Cup. It's always difficult. Doesn't matter what your record is or what's happened in the weeks to come. When you play a rival team like Vancouver or Portland, it's always difficult. Oh, match pack. Tristan Bowen, that's a decent effort. And it was whipping towards the far post. Michael Sperling keeping his concentration right at the end of the game. And that's the save of the game for Michael Sperling. The reasons why he's one of the best goalkeepers in MLS. Tristan Bowen getting all of that. And Chivas applying a little bit more pressure as the, these 90 minutes come to a close. Michael Spurning standing tall, standing strong. We'll need to again. Zach Scott here is bundled into, and it's a free kick foul by Bobby Burling. Just worried for a moment which way the whistle would go. Let's see again there. This was vicious from Tristan Bowen. We've seen Tristan Bone go outside, but here he is cutting inside. Such a difficult save for someone like Michael Sperling. Any the ball, anytime the ball's dipping and bounces in front of you, parries it wide. Huge save. So difficult to stay engaged in a match when you haven't been tested all that much, but this shows how in tune with the match he actually is. Nagel chasing one down. Always going to be Joaquin Velazquez's ball. What about the character that Seattle has shown? It's been the toughest of tough weeks. Tick offensively, and then important for the Sounders up front. As Morales takes it early, looking for Savarillo. Michael Sperling manages to read it where his defenders were left. Yeah, the, is that the strike partnership between Obafemi, between Eddie Johnson, and then Lamar Nagel? They got to really build that partnership now. Chasing that one down. Pace again of Robbie Finley. Yeah, Jimmy Traore doing an ass from Stevenson. Eddie Johnson almost taking advantage of it. And Beltran forcing Michael Sperling to come out of his area. Direct early on. This again will test the Sounders back line. Cross may be, but here's Beckerman. He can hit them from there. Not enough sting on the shot to truly trouble Michael Sperling. The last few minutes, Real Salt Lake just kind of picking up that pace a little bit, just putting the Sounders under a little pressure. Evans. Salcedo heads up. Now Finley heading on that pass from Sabarillo. Tardo is there. Well, Javier Morales starts out with an excellent first touch out on the on the wing and comes inside. Not necessarily known as a player that's gonna maybe I'm envious. Address is dream. Good corner, good punch by Michael Sperning. Sperning thought maybe it was a foul, but I think the contact came from Jimmy Triori. I don't know if you can be fouled by your own man. <laughs> Either that or he's very unhappy with Jimmy Traore. Let's quickly take another look at it. Now there's a little bit of Sabarillo as well in that contact. The corner. Look for Leonard Pahoy in the area. He's a strong, brutish centre forward, and Spurney gets enough of a punch ahead of them. And be your own, and Brad Evans getting the, the wrong end of, of that collision. Well, let's see it again from the corner as Spurning came strongly through. Yeah, you can see the follow through, and he came up, and nothing really Michael Spurning could do. He comes, gets just in front of it, looks like it's Pahoy, and 
from again from a different angle the collision two hits in fact oh, Sprinting Evans. does excellent to get Batman also tries to latch on to the end of a ball that was always going to be John Kennedy Hurtado's and Eddie Johnson is off same run out loud. that was challenging the defense Eddie holding the ball up and passing it back to a center back DC will let the Sounders do that as much as possible is Kyle Porter switch flanks with Nyasi for the moment at least and we'll mark that one down as a shot never had enough sting behind it to unduly trouble Michael Sperling no, that'll be nice for Michael it's always you know a shot from distance a little curler maybe even going wide Michael just steps over and it's a nice comfortable catch since in the 20th minute the difference so far Pahoy tries to chase this one down and Michael Sperling reads it and it's very calm. He does want to see the San Jose coach, all three of those. Run now from Pontius. Well, you can stop by your local participating Chevron station to pick up a free San Jose FC decal with the purchase of eight gallons or more of gas. While supplies last, see cashier for details. These two teams, conference finalists last season. Seattle with games in hand. Tano back to Sperling. Not been the tidiest of games, Casey, we've already mentioned, but DC... Better from DC and... But you just have to think, DC needs some sort of double deflection, something to bounce off somebody's head. Because Pressure is still on. Kyle Porter. This time, sticky gloves from Schmerner. This was the chance from Pontius that really opened up. Well, Pontius gets to run. But at both ends. Here again comes Chris Pontius, gets a sighter on it! Michael Sperling with the save, 